Okay, everybody, welcome to the Village of Skokie Appearance Commission meeting for Wednesday, September 12th. Uh, when you checked in to get your building permits, you were given instructions as to what we're going to be doing here this evening. Um, when your case is called, you'll just come stand right in front of us. Uh, this, uh, neighbors have been notified on either side of your property or an immediate area. If there's any such concerned neighbors, they're welcome to come up and when we discuss the case. Um, we'll take their comments into, into consideration where we're running it. When I call a case, the commissioner to my left <laughs> will be, re be reading into the record comments we received from the village's uh, community development department. Um, with that, anybody who's going to be testifying tonight or coming up and speaking, whether you're a, a concerned neighbor or a resident or an applicant, please stand up and be sworn in. Anybody who's going if to be anyone coming. Anyone who wants to say anything needs to be sworn in. If you're not sworn in, you can't speak. It's really easy. Okay. Okay. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you give tonight will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Before we proceed, um, somebody want to make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting? Sure. I move that. Um, the minutes of the meeting of August 8th, 2018 be uh, approved as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So passed. All right, we'll go right into case 2018-52A, 3837 Sugarloaf Lane, Stewart and Gail Weinstein. The staff has no concerns with the design. Technical items to be addressed include the submittal of a new plat of survey and working with the zoning administrator to confirm the front yard setback. How are you doing? Good. So I'm this Mark, is I'm Mark Golan. I'm the architect for the project. Great. Um, Just a simple addition. It is uh, a little faint up there. Yeah, it's, it's I know. It's, we, we look here. That's just for the record up there. If you look at your north elevation, which is the front, mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, the north photograph, uh, which is the front photograph. Essentially, as you look at the house now, there's a substantial covered mm -hmm. stoop out in front. We're basically just moving it to the other side of the front and enclosing it so it can be usable for our space. I have spoken with zoning already as far as the, uh, okay. the setbacks. We're matching all existing materials? We are. Anybody have any uh, comment? All right. That's fine. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Mary Jane. Why don't you make a motion? I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted to case number 2018-52A at 3837 Sugarloaf Lane as presented. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So passed. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Case number 2018-53A uh, at 4927 Birchwood Avenue, first floor addition. Uh, the are, they here? are they here? Okay. The staff has no concerns with the design. that a certificate of appropriateness be granted in case number 2018-53A at 4927 Birchwood Avenue as submitted. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you very much. 
Case number 2018-55A, it's 5149 Firewall Avenue, Raphael and Rebecca Cabor, first and second floor, sec first and second floor addition. Are they here? Okay, good. Hi. 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 How are uh, you? The staff has no concerns with the design. Sprinklers will be required for this project. How you doing? Hi. Good. We'll share. Okay. Is there photos? Uh, I don't see any. To see if you had uh, uh, photos. Oh. But he's, he, they submitted. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. He knows what to do. Which is the house we're working on? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. You can sit. It's, uh, Pretty much a new house, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, you can you can see in the side plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, this is the bit we're adding here. This is on the first floor, and then the second floor is uh, yeah. all new. Right. Yeah, and then uh, we're doing the break, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much a new house. Yeah. So the mountains are going to be. You're going to add them. Too? Like this? Not really. No, they just want the front. They they they, they only want the front the, the grills in the front. They don't want them on the side or um, on the sides or the second floor. Yeah. I mean, for the second it floor. It looks unusual not having them on the second floor on the sides. Yeah. Um. We we tried it that way. We thought it was a little too rich. With all the grills, it looked uh, uh, a bit too flattered. We thought. What are the colors? Uh, yeah, we brought samples. <laughs> we brought, uh, so the brick is white. The stucco will be white. Um, this is the uh, this is the brick. Uh -huh. We brought uh, shingles. The shingles will be uh, <coughs> uh, dark. So it's kind of like this one. Okay. Right, and then yeah, we have a sample of stucco for the uh, okay. second floor. Sample. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the house. Mm -hmm. And what are the relief lines? Uh, no, that's just actually the, no, the, uh, the, the these. right. Yeah, the software brings those out, brings those out a bit more than uh, than. But, uh, but what is it? Is it's it just, just metal? pouring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, they won't be as visible as that. Yeah, They're yeah. Just yeah. Uh, dark lines. Uh, but it's just yeah, and then yeah. all of it is uh, is uh, <coughs> stone for mm -hmm. the seals and the. Uh, Yep. The moment, right, so. mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna look like this pretty much. That's a rendering. It's closer mm -hmm. to what mm -hmm. uh, what the final product. Will so shading. Like. Yeah. Shadow lines. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anybody have any comment? Muttons on the well, top. Well, I'd like the windows to be uniform. Um, I, I kind of agree. It would. Um, what is the thinking there? Yeah, I wish Just I had brought a, a sample. It, it, it looked like it was too much. Um, why, why did you get right too many windows with too many grills, and it looked... Yeah, uh, that's an idea. Yeah, clutter, that's the word. And maybe no. I mean, you can no. kind of see it here, but it's not It's not that bad because of the garage door, I guess. Um, I think the sides are going to look like you forgot oh, Over the entrance, yeah. also you can visible. have the same, like... Okay. On the second floor, Sorry? instead of having this projection, just have the same roof. The, the problem is we, uh, because of the setbacks, because of Skokie setbacks, we cannot go any further in this line. That's the no, no, I'm talking about the roof. Are like eliminating we can have the continue with the same and the back. Uh, no, actually, that's a, that's hmm? a the main feature. So maybe just, just don't have them the back and the sides. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just uh, I, I've seen, I've seen it that way. It doesn't. Affect me one way or the other. Yeah, I mean, we, we we tried it both ways, and we decided this is the way to go. So. Um, Maybe. Yeah. Mm. And that's the back. I think it looks great. Otherwise, I, I'd yeah. like to I'd like to see the front looks real nice. 
you opposed to doing the muttons? I was wondering about what I was Sorry? Asked. If the homeowner opposed to doing the muttons? Uh, yeah, yeah. The homeowners and they, they don't like that. <laughs> okay. You You're okay. Huh? The gorillas on the side? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. All right. I don't care about the back. I just <laughs> well, they're like removable see. anyway. You can yeah. pop them off. It looks so. like it's forgotten. Yeah, go, go ahead and make a motion with the muttons. Mm -hmm. and Go ahead, Julie. Okay. Uh, I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted in case number 2018-055A at 5149 Farwell with the addition of Muntins on the sides. And Every everything else looks okay. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Case 2018-56A uh, is not showing, so we're going to go to 2018-57A. 9052 Kedvale Avenue. I mean, I'm Ronnie. The staff has no concerns with the design. Skokie's Complete Streets policy approved in March 2016 endorses the provision of transportation options, walking, mm -hmm. biking, automobile, transit, etc., for people of all ages and abilities. Therefore, it is recommended that a public sidewalk be constructed in the public right of way adjacent to this home. Construction of 120 feet of public sidewalk will complete a connection for the entire block to the south of the property to the public mid-block public access along the north side of the property. And for the record, all that sidewalk discussion is really none of our concern. So, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. That's for their concern down the road from us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Time now, split it. Absolutely. Have you not seen this yet? No. Have you been sworn in? Yes. Wonderful. I was here for the swearing. Okay. Thank you. Are you sure this is one of your designs? <laughs> That wasn't meant to be insulting. No. Just toning it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you got? You, obviously, you brought some. Uh, well, the brick, uh, brick on the side of it, and the window frame. Um, so at one point, this did not meet the 50% masonry requirement. Now it does, according to this, right? Yeah. Okay. Basically, how it's going to look, sir. Can you explain? Mm -hmm. Sure. No just give, give, them a, give them a give them a give them a twenty oh, second. Yeah. 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 On the back, how mm -hmm. far out those guys um, push out? You know where the uh, patio is right yeah. now? It's going to that point. Oh, it's just going to right. to the end of the patio. And then the patio. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, fine. And then you were explaining about the sidewalk. What, what is there that? There is a there is a vacated. I believe it's a vacated street on that is side. That Davis over there. Yes, Davis, yeah. Davis. We're recommending to continue the walks. So we're recommending to continue the walks. So they're, they're not going to vote on that. It's not there. Which one you mean your sidewalk? It's a village sidewalk. Oh, the village okay. sidewalk okay. ends. Yeah, we're recommending mm -hmm. to continue it. All the way to church? To, no, just there's their property. Oh, just yeah, the property. This is yeah. coil. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sure. No, <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, mean, I got. I mean, if, if okay. you've, you've satisfied. Uh, okay. What do we got here, Hardy? We got that color brick. That'll be. That's yeah. actually a cool brick. And that's the color. That's that's that'll be. That'll look awesome. Oh yeah. Here's the yeah. Anybody got anything? Um. Looks fine. Jay, why don't you make a motion? Yeah. It's 57A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. But, but it's the new, yeah. the new rendering, Jay. As, oh, you yeah. have the right rendering. I okay, I make a motion. The certificate of approvedness yeah. to be granted in case number 2018-057A-9052 Cadwell. Uh, as uh, re revised presentation. 
Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So passed. Thanks. Did we get the new renderings? Yes, sir. All right, great. Need to read one? I got one. All right. Thanks, Rafa. Thanks. Case 2018-0588 at 4900 Coil. <clears throat> this home cannot be approved as currently designed. Are they here? It's Rafa. Huh? Rafa. He's got two in a row? Yes. Uh, this home... Where am I? This new home cannot be approved as currently designed as it does not meet the 50% masonry requirement and the Appearance Commission does not have the authority to grant relief. Staff has no concerns with the overall design. However, it is recommended that triangle attic vents be provided in the gables in lieu of the rectangular vents. The shallow portions of the front slash side porch be removed or be increased in depth to be functional and the gable peak above the second floor bath on the east elevation be removed. Technical items that need to be addressed include reducing the overall height as the height is measured from grade, not top of foundation, confirming the floor area ratio, FAR, uh, as any portion of the attic that measures six foot nine inches or taller counts towards the FAR, providing 50% masonry on the facade and installing mm -hmm. a sprinkler system as this is a new home. Mm -hmm. right, so, I got a friendly reminder call from the village staff telling me that I have to make sure we have at least 50% uh, masonry. Mm -hmm. So the current renderings that you have in front of you meets that requirement. Um, so the one to revise them. Okay. I think I, I think I gave everybody. Yeah. 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 I have an extra yeah. one. This one? Is, it, is this house yeah. being built on this lot here? This yes. Is okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So the FAR and the measurements of the height of the, before we submit for permit, we'll make sure we comply with those. Um, the brick is, is a white brick, it's a white siding, the client really wants a, a white look for the house, the window frames are black, um, the roofing material is also kind of that weathered wood, slate, dark color. What are these uh, other comments, Rafi, about the attic vents? I, do, I don't think triangular ones really work. I mean, it's going to be, I think yeah, the I, rectangular one works much better. I think it's fine. Uh, that. And in terms of the porch, I mean, it's really an aesthetic thing. It's not like people are going to be sitting out there. It gives a color to the front door and kind of breaks up the elevation and mm -hmm. gives a kind of defining line. What are we talking about? We're, we're um, the talking south, about this, this depth of the porch here, it's only three feet. Yeah, so the so comment is to increase that. that. So I can't increase it, mm -hmm. but it's really not the functionality of it so much, more of an aesthetic decision, mm -hmm. so that you have that idea that opening those windows and you kind of continuing the house in that outdoor space. I don't think the clients are gonna have barbecues in front of the house, mm -hmm. so. That's not deep enough for that. Creates, anyway. a, creates a sight line, it's it's a decorative. shadow line. Yeah, I like that. I was thinking. My front porch so isn't that wide. Working mm -hmm. with that particular mm -hmm. style of a house. And uh, no, were they suggesting these be trying yeah. there as well? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm okay. And then is, is this the one they're suggesting to remove that no, cable? Yes. Yeah. You know, now with the brick, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I actually like it because I, I'm trying to picture it without it, and then it then it looks like a multiplex. Not to say it doesn't. Up there creates a vertical element, and I think it helps mm -hmm. elevation quite a bit. Yeah, An asymmetrical a element, yeah. albeit. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think I it's think fine. I think it, 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 it picks up. It, it picks up the, yeah. the entry. Well, Raffi, I think the only reason we yeah, talked I about those the angles is because okay. some of them are so tight to the uh, peak mm -hmm. yeah. on the left side. You mean just? They mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. can go to smaller sizes. Yeah, we just sort of looked awkward. Right, these were nicely spaced, and that one was. Yeah, yeah that one was a little jammed up there. Which which I one you talk? Wait. This See one. how this is jammed in there? Where these are nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can just reduce the size of each one a little bit. Yeah. What's the Hold the bottom line and then just reduce the top a little bit. The gable peak. I wouldn't reduce the middle one. Is this is this? Yeah. So this is a smaller dimensional gable than this one. Okay. The gable peak. Oh, this is above the second floor bed. Oh, I, th I think it looks this? fine. So do I. Yeah. I, I like it. Yeah. Let's see. <coughs> I, I actually like 
Do you want to remove it? No. I think it's no okay. comment. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Make a motion. Uh, sure. Um, I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted in case number 2018-058A at 4900 Coil. <clears throat> um, uh, as presented with the um, uh, revised uh, elevations uh, provided, uh, which we are told uh, comply with the 50% masonry requirement and um, uh, that no significant uh, changes be made to uh, the vents as shown. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. No opposed, so pass. <coughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, he's got one. Thank Thanks. You. Case 2018-59A at 9543 Avers, Steve and Elsa Attridge. It's a second story addition, or a two story addition, I should say. The staff has no concerns with the overall design. However, it is recommended that the small first floor gable on the rear elevation be boxed out with trim and or corner boards to provide visual support for the roof line. Technical items that need to be addressed include obtaining a parking variation from the Zoning Board of Appeals as the number of bedrooms is increasing from two to four and submitting a petition for consolidation of property as there are two pins associated with this request. How you doing? Good. So this is toward the rear? Toward the rear. The existing has that the lower knee wall and the rest of it. Looks like a two on eleven siding right on the side. Nice free porch, so we do work intending to uh, maintain that. And, uh, so you're adding a family room and a master bedroom on top, right? On top, yeah. A couple other odds and ends interior, but yeah. Nothing no change to the front. No change to no. the front. See those renderings? Right here. Oh, did I go? Last page. There. Never mind. Got it. Thank you. Oh, uh, it's good. Yeah, so do I. I mean, you brought the brick line around. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, at least you didn't just go siding all the way through. Is there a you, stoop on the north, this is north on, side? This is on your last page. Okay. That's on oh. the last page of your path. North side. The rendering. It looks like it's like. Yes, there was a, a stoop. Oh, from there's the, going to be a stoop there? Yeah. Just straight out. It's a little deep. It's a little deep. What's the siding material? Uh, we intend to use up. Uh, we don't know what that is. I think it's just wood paint. Uh huh. But uh, our choice will be probably. It, it, uh, it's, it'll be a wood. It's not going to be a vinyl, right? It'll be a Absolutely wood or a hardy. No, okay, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. LP hardy. One yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trusting your rendering more than your drawing. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Because yes, there are certain things that don't, and the rendering that aren't necessarily appearing correctly on the drawing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make that a part of the motion. So um, anything going on here? That this is a not, not really. I mean. It's Why, you're wondering why there's not this, a window there? Yeah, it just it's looks kind of a class. big blank this. wall. This wall here, right, right here. Yeah. Well, the second floor's got one. The, fam <laughs> the family room wall doesn't. Yeah, the family room below doesn't. But you got to put a entertainment center somewhere. I mean, it's yeah, side it's, facing. It's, 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 it's fine. Intended. We'll kind of keep it so they have at least one wall for the yeah. Yeah, that's got screen it. Or that's a mat. That's a new master bedroom. And that's fine. This from this view, it looks good. The first. This is this is their great room. Yeah. 
It's, uh, so he's got all it's this. this. That's, yeah. that's, that's this. Yeah. So we, yeah. we got yeah. it open to, to the rear. To the rear. Yeah. yeah. Just to keep him, you know, like yeah. I said. No, it's got it. Got it. All right. Plant a tree. Yeah. Plant a tree. There you go. There you go. A nice, messy pear tree. Um, Arshana, do you want to make a motion on this one? Yeah. Uh, I make a motion uh, that certificate of appropriateness be granted for case number 2018-059A, uh, uh, located at 9543 Evers Avenue, as presented with, uh, not that I, I mean the rendering is not. Uh, yeah. The, the renderings in the proposal, so. Yeah, okay. it's not. Uh, okay. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. So passed. All right, thank Good you. Luck. Take care. Moving into the commercial cases. <laughs> 2018 50A, 8220 Skokie Boulevard, public storage. Public storage has made the decision to request an approval for the south-facing wall sign. The public storage wall sign is on the south elevation and will replace an existing wall sign. However, there are no windows or business entrances on this facade and the sign was not approved as part of the original 1998 mm. special use permit ordinance. Mm. This sign will require an additional step of retaining, obtaining relief from the village code. Oh. All right, refresh my memory. We <coughs> right. Right. No, I mean, I remember the case, but... So the sign that we're not approved to the fact that there's no window or door, he's looking for your approval for aesthetics, but then we'll take him to the zoning board. Okay. That's right. Does anybody care? Not really. It doesn't bother me. All right. What do you think? Does it bother you? No. Why don't you make a motion? Maybe you can take it to zoning. We'll kick it upstairs. <laughs> I make a motion that a certificate of helpfulness be granted for case number 2018-58 at 8220 Spokie Boulevard as presented. Anybody, anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. Thank you, sir. Sure. Mm -hmm. Case 2018-51A, 77 Austin Avenue, American Louver. Staff appreciates the design intent. However, it is requested that the entire surface of all towers be painted. Hi. Hi there. Sorry. Um, you said the entire, you mean just the, as opposed to just the striping, you want the entire? Uh, give us a give us a sec. So if you look at the picture, you'll notice that the white portions oh. of the tower yes. are rusted. Yes, and oh yes, so it's gonna be a full restoration. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it, we're, I'll wait. There it is. Sorry. Why don't you tell them why? I'm sorry. What am I? Tell them why? Am I? Am I supposed to be? And, what am I getting for a? Aren't you guys doing those barrels with the orange? And yes. Uh, if you're ready for me, go right yes. ahead. It's all your stuff. Uh, we are the largest manufacturer of construction barrels in the United States. Okay. Uh, we're very proud of that. Cool. Um, so this is kind of a... You want to mimic that design. Yeah, yes, yes. In, a, in a matter of branding, if uh -huh, you will. Uh -huh. you know, uh, we don't see it very often, but we're very proud of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is in an industrial environment. So it's, it's it, you know, you can see it from Lehigh, which mm -hmm. is in Skokie. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we're on the dead end street, which is Austin. And so we're the, basically the last industrial property there other than those, there's some smaller properties mm -hmm. that go into mm -hmm. the gravel area. Mm -hmm. You may be familiar with that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I was tasked, I'm the maintenance manager of that facility. I was mm -hmm. tasked with the project to uh, do a rust, rest, rust reform mm -hmm. and then a complete coating. And traditionally they're white and they are right now white. Mm -hmm. And I kind of dreamed this idea up and once I presented it, it kind of took off. 
Did you get a bonus for that? I, I did not. Yeah. Uh, and this would be a bonus. I live in the area, and I would love to see it on a yeah. daily basis. <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess my only suggestion would be why wouldn't you do it more to scale with the white stripes being minimalized and being more orange? I'll apologize, and we we're going to do that. that. Is that this, what your intent this, is? This was actually my fancy work on my computer, and I'm, I'm yeah. a maintenance manager. You stick, stick uh, with maintenance. So we're going to go a little bit closer yeah. to this, and of course, uh, you know, the color yeah. wasn't even picked yeah. correctly. So sure, this is sure, I got like you. like a fluorescent, but it's I what I had you. to work with. Right. Um, we are not intending, the now these are reflective material, Yeah, you're just and we are white. not intending yeah. on doing any reflective. Right. I don't want 747s right. Right. Know, right. 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 glaring at right. all, you know. Sure. <laughs> no. but I, I think given where you're at, I mean, if you were facing the Edens, I might have a problem, but, right. um, but uh, I think yeah, you're, like you're like fine where you're at. So. Okay. Um, cool. Somebody want to make a motion? You guys think it's a good idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you could do the little black base and the handle yeah. on the top. Well, the, you know, in fact, the base, it's in the back corner of our yeah. property anyway, yeah. so the base isn't going yeah. to be seen yeah. by anybody but yeah. ourselves. No, but I, I like what you're doing. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, great. Somebody want to make a motion? And uh, I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted the case number 2018-051A at 7700 Austin uh, with the provision that the, uh, the striping... Uh, more closely mimic the proportions of the product produced therein. Anybody second? Second. second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. So passed. Great. Thank you. Okay. We're done here? We yep. are done here. Good, Good luck. luck. Have a great evening. Thank you. Sure. You're Case 2018-54A at 3643 Dempster Street. Chateau Gina signage. The staff has no concerns with the overall design. However, it is recommended requested that the maximum new tenant panel height should be 27 inches and the white faces in the existing sign should be replaced or the new white faces be off-white color so the whites match. Aesthetics wise this additional panel appears to make the sign more in proportion with the sign base. Uh, Hi. Hi. We just need to wait and see what he's going to show us here. Mm -hmm. Do you have a package for the last case, 54A. I don't know where Is this, is, are you only asking for this panel or is there something going on? This? Well, the, the bottom two signs right, right, right. Are, are existing. I know. Are you only asking for this or is there another sign going on the building? No, just, just this. this? Yes. Looks fine. And, and the request, the request is to see? make is to make this off white to match the faded existing. No, I, I get all that. I oh, get okay. all that. All right. But. So, so tell me about the 27 inches, Pete. I didn't see the comments. Of Tenant uh, panel height should be 27 inches. It's 42, 42 right now. So I was just saying it was looked out of, out of proportion to what's there. And, uh, I mean, what do we do with the, But that's what the box what, is, what right? What do you do with the other no, 15 no, inches? No, on, onto the top. Uh, uh, yeah, it's currently at 14 and a half feet high. And then we we're just going to add the three and a half feet to make the full 18 feet. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have my comments in my uh, packet, but oh. is the sign oversized too? It didn't say no. that. It just, no, it, just it, always it implies it. The square footage for the uh, signage that's currently there was already used up back uh, when, when they first produced the signs. Mm -hmm. At that point, there was only two uh, businesses at that location. Uh, since then, it's been, uh, they've added on another business. Right. And the only thing is that they've already used up the square footage. That was, Are you uh, is this the restoration hardware space? space? No, it's where Vogue, well, it's where Vogue, that lighting Vogue, place Vogue is giving, lighting, yeah, right. giving it's lighting. it's giving space Vogue, back, Vogue right? Vogue lighting uh, shares a space with restoration hardware. Oh, it's, 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 right it's, it's, it's not restoration hardware, but it's, 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 it's,
it's, it's yeah. He but, came from Lincolnwood. I'm correct. Sure. Right. right. Okay. That was his. That's his brother. Not Decorator Lincoln. hardware. <laughs> yes. Yes. What's the overall height down there? Eighteen. Okay. Good. Eighteen Maybe what? Eighteen feet. So is, does this but, com does this comply? If it's uh, fifty feet or less, then it does. It complies feet. before the addition of the additional signage, right? It did. Right? So it's, it's going to be ten more by than four square feet on each side. Uh, the way it is before it starts, I think, is fifty, isn't it? Well, the uh, the fifty square feet was already used with both no, no, lighting and No, I, I mean, his question is, oh. does it comply? It complies before the additional signage, right? Right. Yeah, right. right. It currently complies right now, yeah. but. Yeah. That's why the way it stands right now, it complies at the 50 with vocal. You're saying it complies without right there without the, the sign. <laughs> okay, yes. so he wants a sign. Yeah, I understand. Right, right, right. No, no. I'm, yeah, I'm the, the comments didn't clearly state it, but if it's over 50 square feet, then I'll need to have relief. You're not over an acre in site size, so um, <clears> so you only have a small size sign that's allowed. So we'll have to bring this one to the zoning board too if it's over 50 square feet. You guys are running again on aesthetics. I don't know if you're okay with the colors. This is really well, I mean, you know, color. what do you want to tell? Put an ugly, crappy white up here to, to match no. the 20-year-old Vogue. Be, I, I it know should look new. I should tell them to change can you, their sign. Can you right. get a, we need an aged right. white. No, maybe he'll put beige on his. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Ours is clean. It's new. I like the yeah. sign. Yeah. I like, you know, I, I like Drum the up some sign. business for your sign yeah. guy. All right, right. Yeah. Maybe well, you are the sign guy, right? Yes. Update the sign, too. Oh, well, then. Pitch them. Yeah. Change the other two. Yeah. You think it's yeah, they're gonna look uh, if it were done over with yeah. the three being Well the Boston market it kind of well, because it's already in the red uh -huh. yeah. there. But well, the vogue line I could see, I mean we could probably change. You think that. it's the lighting that might be also bad? <laughs> yeah, I mean you could still No, know. it's just the the that mm -hmm. that bold lighting panel's been there for it like for it years. It needs to be it's changed. Just, it's um just discoloration. Is 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 there any will will it be any pushback from I mean, this is uh, Boston is 27, Vogue is 32. You're going for 42. Will they complain that the size? Well, is I mean, it should probably be proportional to the format. It should be. And I think one of the recommendations that we had is that I thought we said that it should be reduced. Is that one well, 27. It'll never. It won't. It yeah. won't 20, look good yeah. in it. Yeah, 27 will be. I was well, thinking more they, like 36. They could, they could drop one of those things to create. You know, they they don't need those. They need their name. Right. I mean, I, I could make a case for, you know, there's a five inch step up from here to here and maybe give another five inch step up, you know, then it, may, it has some rhythm to it. Get into a 37 or a 38 panel shouldn't, versus shouldn't a 42. Shouldn't they be on the bottom and the small one? I don't know, you know. Yeah, the reason we went the, that high is because of the logo. They wanted to implement their logo. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that, you know, we actually have to reduce the size of the logo to make it fit within that space. Yeah, type. I mean, I, keep the I personally don't care about the size of the sign and the 42 and all that stuff. So that, that, that's me personally. I mean, I'd get Vogue to change theirs. The text-wise, though, it's the same height as the other one. Like the Vogue lighting. And the I get mm -hmm. you. Right, right. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like you're overwhelming us with the text size. So. Mm -hmm. Although it does get a little busy where the, I don't know what this is called, the tail on the G yeah, and then the between logo. the laser and the spa. Like, that's... Yeah, that, that's how they. That's how they want it. Right. That's how Gina wanted it. Right. It's their, it's their typeface. Um, so it doesn't. Yeah, it does, it's I think it should be more coordinated. The three signs should be. Um, yeah, but he's not working. Are you working, working, are you working for, the for the landlord? Or are you working for the the tenant? Gina. I'm working for the tenant, Chef Gina. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I've spoken to the landlord as well at Vogue Lighting, and I mean he's okay with it as long as uh, you know we're not destroying the sign or doing anything out of the ordinary. Can you make uh, a 36 inch or 38 inch tall sign work? We can, but I, if we do that, we probably have to lose the uh, lose the logo. I wouldn't do that. The, the, the icon? Yeah, the old yeah. logo. Yeah. No. Well, how about the 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 do Chateau Gina no. a little bit? If we do that, it'll look awkwardly uh, right. so. and noticeably Not smaller good. than the Vogue lighting in the Boston market. If they had a bright sign, their sign, their writing would show up even more. So, so, what, so what, 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 you, what, you, what are you doing for a wall sign? Already well, they already have a wall sign. Oh, do they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you have the logo in the background of your text? Or if? Uh, 
that will reduce and we can do that to but i think it would distort the uh distort lo yeah. you'd lose it i'm okay with it yeah, I mean, can, 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 can you particularly beautiful. move the little icon to the left or not? What's that? It's not a particularly beautiful but spot. Nothing, this, right. was their, this is the way their logo was, uh, was laid out. And or drop, tried that. Or drop salon and laser or, Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> then you want to know what Chef I mean, is, does, does the wall sign say? I think, does so. yeah, I think it Say it salon and laser spa? I think, I think it, it has it's it a in, salon and spa. Yeah, I think uh, it has it in, uh, underneath the name. They have the channel letters and then they have a little uh, box under it. Yeah. Thought the building would have been there. Uh, yeah, I, you guys, do you guys tell me what you're feeling? I don't know. Does it, it. it bother <coughs> me that it's going to 10 x 10 and more inches more no. than? No. Well, I'm, I'm, like ready for I'm almost more concerned that you're adding <laughs> three and a half feet on top of an existing sign. I mean. Mm. It's getting awfully lofty now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's why I was trying to bring it down to earth a little bit. Um, I don't have any problem with, you know, the 42 per se. I'm just, I'm have more concern with the 216 overall. If we can get that mm -hmm. lower, um, I, would, I would prefer it. But if it's not going to work, I can live with 42. I'm just trying to think what else on dumpsters at the, <clears throat> you know, I don't know what, what's, what's Dumpster hubs. Dumpster needs some help. <laughs> the price would be about the same size. Hub, hubs would, would be, be up about 216. I think. I mean, and, 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 I, and that sounds about right. Very pretty the maximum and most of them yeah, go up to the 18. It's going to be hard Unless their roof is lower. This one here always bothered me because the base is so heavy. And right. This is so squat. This almost makes it makes it look nicer, I think, to bring it up. So you would recommend that this kind of go through? Yes. Okay. I like it. Very good. All right. All right. That's sad. Julie <laughs> likes that so she can make a motion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I move that a certificate of appropriateness be granted in case number 2018-054A at 3643 Dempster. As is presented. Anybody second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. over 50 square feet and it has to go to the zone of the So they're proving the aesthetics. We're just yeah. kind of operating. We just passed the first step. Yeah. Right. You've got more work right. to do. We have both. And we're the nice, and we're the nice ones. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, do I need anything from you guys? Or? <coughs> no. It's all in the public record now. Okay. Oh. I would re I remember what his comment it. was about the heaviness of this base and this spring it and making it more. Yeah, but you bring that up to the zone. Yeah. If, yeah. if you have that opportunity to say that, yeah. If they're pushing back, yeah. Yeah. Pete said, yeah. And as far as the color and everything, yeah, all good. Great. Exactly. You're, you're all good. good. All good. Sell them Sorry. another yeah. sign. Yeah, we're good. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, thank good. you. Good night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's